So I made a list because I didn't want to say that I'd forgotten any of them, but I guarantee you I'll still have forgotten half of the books that I've read this year. Hi, welcome, come on in. My name is Aoife and today I'm going to take you through all of the prompts that I have ticked off in the Pop Sugar 2020 reading challenge so far. It's uh, about August, by the time that this video is going to come out, it's going to be really close to the start of August. There are 50 prompts overall in this entire challenge. I have ticked off, as of now, 37. That's the highest that I've ever done across any year. Not just at this stage of the year, but overall. So let's go through all of them that I have done so far. This is to kind of remind me as to where I am with this challenge and also it's maybe going to give you a little bit of inspiration if you are taking part in the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge but you don't know what to fit into any of these books. I'm not going to tell you what I thought about them because there are so many to get through. I'm just going to name them off one by one. So here we go. The entire list is in front of me here. A book that was published in 2020. I read Love Frankie by Jackie Wilson. A book by a trans or non-binary author. I read Juno Dawson's Wonderland. A book with a great first line that was Our Little Cruelties by Liz Nugent. A book, set, a book set in a city that has hosted the Olympics. I read Mr. Loverman by Bernadine Evaristo, which is set in London. A Bildung's Roman. For this, I read Norman People by Sally Rooney. The first book that you touch with your eyes closed. For this one, I read American Royals by Catherine McGee. A book with a map. I read All the Range by Cara Hunter. A book recommended by your favorite blog vlog, podcast, or online book club. For that one, I read Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshi Kabu Kazuguchi, which has been continuously recommended by Emma from Drinking by Myself. A book that passed the Bechdel test, I read Capo New Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. A book by an author with flora or fauna in their name, I read Holly Bourne's What Magic Is This? A book published in the month of your birthday, I read Call It What You Want by Bridget Kemmerer, which is published in June of 2000 and I think 19. A book by or about a woman in STEM, I read The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. A book that won an award in 2019, for this I read The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. A book on a subject that you know nothing about, I read If I Had Your Face by Frances Cha. A book with only words on the cover, no images, no graphics, for this I read Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. A book with a pun in the title, I read Naturally Tan by Tan France. A book featuring one of the seven deadly sins, I went completely rogue and read one with all seven, that was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. A book with a bird on the cover, I read Perfectly Preventable Deaths by Deirdre Sullivan. A book by a woman of colour, I read Mallory Blackman's Noughts and Crosses. A book with at least a four star rating on Goodreads, I read Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. A book you meant to read in 2019 was Holly Bourne's The Places of Cried in Public. A book about or involving social media, I read Tweet Coop by Emma Lord. A book with a book on the cover, I read Diary of a Bookseller by Sean Blythe. A book with a made up language, I don't really know if this counts but I thought Newspeak would be a made up language and so I chose 1984 by George Orwell. A book set in a country that begins with the letter C. For this, I read an arc of Destination Anywhere by Sarah Barnard. It was supposed to come out in June, but it's actually been pushed back, it's been pushed back to March 21 by now. A book with a three word title, I read In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. A book with a pink cover, I read Royals by Rachel Hawkins. A book by or about a journalist, I read Between the Stops by Sandy Toxvig. I think she's a journalist. Your favourite prompt from a previous Pop Sugar reading challenge. For this one, I read Get a Life Chloe Bound by Talia Hibbert because it has a cat on the cover. And so now the advanced prompts. I've read everything except for one, two, three of these prompts. A book written by an author in their 20s. I read On Shaw by Una Mean Kavanagh. A book with a character who has a visual impairment or uses like a visual aid. This is a nod to 2020 vision. For that, I read Secrets by Jack Lewis, one of the characters wear glasses. A book written by an author who has written more than 20 books. I read No Judgments by Meg Cabot. A book with more than 20 letters in his title. For this one, I read Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Barnard. A book published in the 20th century. I read The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis. A book from a series with more than 20 books. For this one, I read Stacy and the Mystery of Stony Book by Anna M. Martin. It is the 31st book in the Babysitter's Club series. A book with the main character in the 20s, I read The Switch by Beth O'Leary. One of the characters, Lena, is like mid to late 20s. I'm actually going to be rereading that again as an audiobook because I have heard that the audiobook narration is amazing. So if you are stuck for any of the reading prompts in the Pop Sugar Challenge, these might help you out. They were some of the great books that I have read this year. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I have new videos up every week.
Now get on out of here. Thank you.